Oh shit. Yeah, we're not around this time. Oh yeah, not today, guy. Oh, you, you want this? You want this? No, no, no. Yeah, I knew you were coming, buddy. My brother said you got, uh, you got the hands on these. Bucks, 20 bucks yeah, you guys need a couple. No, I'm just curious what you get for 20 bucks. You get a fair amount, right? Oh, I actually, I ask him not even to put it that much in. Oh, shit. Fish on. Oh, hell yeah. If you if you have a second, I could really use your help, man. He's a keeper here. Nice. Um, I have a net. I do, if you, if you should. Yeah. Oh, always got to set up your net before. That was a rookie move. Oh, thank you, sir. You are a lifesaver. Oh, keep that head down. Oh, come on. Go, go. Oh, shit. Just wait, just wait. Just keep it right there. Just keep it low. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Woo! Come on, pull, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. Nice. Woo! -hoo -hoo. A subtle fight or? No, actually, well, getting it in the net was near impossible. He, so he, he, ran, he actually. Whoa. He ran four or five times. He is 25 and a half. Yeah, you're way legal. So. That's like the one I caught in the What is there. the limit, he said? Uh, the limit's 22 inches. He, he's 26. So. I help. Yeah, he's, he's good size. <laughs> I'm Bill and he's I help. It's a helmet. Yeah, the, uh, the bait shop guy was telling me the word. Um, he says he just comes out here in a little rowboat. Cause no one really, everyone thinks to go on the outside, right. but the inside's the only sand part. Yeah, cool, yeah. Gonna reach? You want a rope? Do you know? What if you ran into this guy? There we go, baby. There we go. Oh, you want to get that now ready for me again? Yeah. Thank you, sir. This guy feels a little bit smaller, I'm guessing. Get underneath my... Oh, he's, he's a baby. Nah, nah, he's, he's going to only be like 14 or so. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's funner than sitting doing nothing. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take that all day long. Yeah. He's uh, spawning. Really? It's always so well, gross. That's what they, oh, I see all the milk. Yeah. Well, that's... Oh. Yeah, I guess so. We will get him back in the water. Good luck, buddy. Oh no, he's real small. One that bit your other He is a lively guy. I can't even get him. We'll go quick. Yeah. There we go. Six pounds. The same. Eight point three. Six four eight. First, I just take it in the sink, take a stainless steel brush to it, and get off as many scales as I possibly can. From there, I take out my fish scaler and, uh, or just a knife, whatever you got on you, and uh, clean off the rest of the scales. A uh, bunch of water, rinse it off as much as I can, then uh, get up in the gills, rinse out the blood that's still in there from cutting them earlier on. Uh, rinse out all that the best I can because there's always a bunch of gunk and whatever in the, the mouth so I'd like to get that as clean as possible too. 
taking it over to the cutting board. There's a really pronounced white line that goes along the back of uh, each side of the halibut. Um, that's their backbone right there. So I just take my knife, follow that all the way along, um, start up by the head, go down to the tail. Uh, and uh, once you do hit down to the backbone, your knife's going to kind of just pick a side because it's, uh, it's round. Uh, so whatever side my knife lands on, that's the, side, that's the side I start on. Just makes it a little bit easier. After that, you're just following the rib bones and uh, keeping as close as you possibly can to the rib bones or backbones, whatever you call them in there. Um, it's, it's really easy to see once you get in there, and it's really easy to keep following them. Um, do the same thing on each side. The only thing to watch out for on the stomach side is there is an orange uh, sack of some sort. I don't know what it really is, but it, it's a big orange sack right by their uh, the bottom of their stomach. So you do kind of want to watch out for that. After that, I like to take off the head. Um, usually I just throw it into the oven and mess around with it. There's not too much meat on it. And personally, I don't really know how to cook a halibut head, but, uh, I, I like to take the jaws out of it. So I take off the head and then the, uh, spine and the fins go in the trash. So I use two different ways about taking off the skin. The first is just keeping the skin and the meat actually on the cutting board and just following the skin in one kind of smooth swipe all the way along to the end and hopefully again as far as you can usually i can't do that in one sweep i get somewhere my knife goes off uh, but after practice that that would be the ideal way to do it uh, the second easier way i found is just kind of once you get it a little bit started is to pick it up by the skin and let the uh, meat kind of flap over to the other side and then from there you could go really slow and just kind of follow the skin real slow making sl um, small cuts and um, you could take it down uh, you could easily take the skin off that way as well. It's just a lot slower, but it's a little bit more accurate. Oh, did you see? He, oh, oh, yeah, not today, guys. Oh, you, you want this? You want this? No, no, no. Yeah, I knew you were coming, buddy. Yeah, yeah, good try. I don't think you can taunt the seals for very long. Look at you. He probably knows exactly the distance he can do. Yeah, he's like, come on, mother. A little bit closer, just a little bit closer. Na 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 na, you can't get this. Yeah, this you can't go. <laughs> <laughs> it might be our sign to leave. <laughs> 